Hello, hello everybody. This is my first time ever going live on Amazon and I'm so excited you all are here. Thank you for watching the replay. This is my first time doing it and if this comes out kind of quirky, then guess what? It's not perfect, but it is absolutely gonna be authentic. So today I'm going to show you um, how I'm going to fix this. So this is actually in my studio that's downstairs and the letter R has fallen off. So I've got the fix to letter R and I'm gonna show you some details also that I've gotten on Amazon. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually getting ready to go into my studio. I'm downstairs in my studio and I have a cutter that's here that I'm gonna use. So I have a US cutter. This is a 24 inch and I think a 32 inches actually on Amazon. And I'm gonna slide over my carousel and it is right here. That's the one that it is. It's actually a 34 inch cutter that's there. Relatively the same. Um, so you just go a little bit bigger. So that's actually it. And I'm going to test it now using my MacBook Pro. And I'm going to do a test cut. And it says yes, and then I'm going to cut it. It's gonna be real quick. So I have all my vinyl in here. And this is my machine that I'm cutting here. And then I'm just going to unhook it really quick. I'm gonna flip the camera around a little bit. And so I'm gonna walk into here and I'm actually gonna cut it. So that is actually my room that I use to do all of my vinyl cutting. And this is actually in my downstairs studio. I'll do a tour one day soon so you guys can see what that actually looks like. Um, I need to add this to my carousel. So I have this little doohickey here, which actually allows it to swivel around. I'm gonna put that on there. So hold on one second, I gotta flip it. And then I flip it back so you guys can see me. So yay, so I'm so excited you guys are here. And let's get this party started with all the things that I'm gonna show you today. So I'm going to actually start weeding. And this little doohickey follows me. I absolutely love it. It follows me and goes everywhere I go. Isn't it the coolest thing? Oh my gosh, it's so amazing. So I've got to move this down just a tad bit. So yay, I'm actually on Amazon. So there's three people watching me. There's a, you can actually put some stuff into the comment. I can actually read it. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I've already cut out my little R and I've already measured it to know what I need. So I'm just simply going to cut it out just around the area so I can see it. And I am using my green um, X-Acto knife and it is actually here on my carousel. So that's what that is right there. So I have the green one. And all I did was I just literally just trimmed around it so I can get a loose of all the excess. And then I'm going to use my weeding tools. I'm probably gonna have to give you another link because the one I normally use is not there. And so let's see if I have some more weeding tools on my carousel. Um, so with the cutter, this is the cutter. And then with the cutter, you can also buy some of these blades. These blades are actually used for Cricut machines also, so that's pretty cool. Um, so that's all of those. I did not give you that. So this is the MacBook um, computer that I use. In my closet in there, um, that closet does not have a light. So this is the light. So if you have a closet that you want to light up, you can actually use this plug here to connect it to a light bulb and plug it up anywhere. It looks like, let's see, I think I have one over here somewhere. It looks like this. And you attach a light bulb to it. Um, what I did on this one is the same thing. Alexa, turn off the studio light. So Alexa is actually controlled with a light bulb that you can put in here and you can turn it on and off and you can tell Alexa to do that. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. Alexa, turn on the studio light. See, Alexa controls my lights in this room when it comes to this light, which is the one I do with my cameras. But you can also use it with this. So I'm going to use my weeding tool and I'm simply going to remove the black off of it. And all I'm doing is just poking a little hole in it and then pulling it up like such. 
I'm going to get rid of that. And all I'm going to do then is take this and put it on the wall. So I'm going to show you how we're going to do that in just a second. So I'm using some, um, uh, mine is bigger than yours. I gave you the smaller version of it. It is some masking tape style, um, transfer tape. And I like to use the masking tape type versus the extra one that looks like this. This one comes off to be too, too sticky and I don't like to use that one. So I like to use the masking tape style. It's more of a paper back versus the, pla the plastic back. And of course this is live. So it messed up a little bit, but it's okay because I can fix it off camera. So I'm just going to continue to get it off and I only need a little bit of it. So I'm just gonna put my little R right here on it. And what I would normally do is I would stop and pull it apart, but because we're live, things happen when you go live. And of course it's not doing what it should do because we are live. So I'm gonna put this down for a second and I'm just going to turn it and pull it myself. And I'm just gonna stick it on there. And we'll worry about that later. Using my, one of the reasons why I like this is because I can retract it and push it out. And then I'm just going to cut a little bit of it, just like this. And then I'm gonna come back later. And what I normally do is I pull it, oops, because we're live, it's messing up. I normally pull it and get enough of it out. And then I turn it over so that I'll be able to easily get it later. But no worries, we'll figure that out later. So from here, I'm just gonna go and lay it down. I don't need that big of a piece. Um, I only need a small piece. Again, safety first. And I'm just going to cut around it. And then I'm gonna go to the wall and actually adhere it to the wall. I'm not sure what happened. I think because my uh, paint might be a satin finish, that's why it kind of messed up. So I'm going to go and use my scraper and that is actually on my carousel also it is this just a scraper there and i'm simply going to go and rub it in like so i um, mean the reason why i have a scraper that has felt on the side is because once i get it on the wall i want to rub it like such and it's not going to scratch it so I rub it in really good, flip it on the back, and then all I wanna do is make sure that it comes off. And it's coming off like such. Easy peasy. Now I'm gonna take it and walk to the wall. So, come on with me. I love this device. So I'm just gonna simply go and kinda eyeball it what I think it should be, and not press it all the way, but just let's look at it. And it looks like it should be right. And I'm just then going to rub it in. And then I'm going to pull it off at a diagonal like this. And then I'm just going to go one time and rub it over. And guess what? It's done. Oh my gosh. That was the easiest thing ever. So thank you all for watching. That's all I have. Um, I will put the links to all those things. The only thing I didn't add in here was my device that spins and turns. It is the cutest. Um, I don't have it in there, but thank you all for being here with me. I want to put in there, thank you for, and it's going crazy because I'm standing here. Thank you for watching. If you like more of these videos, let me know. I will be doing more of these. This is actually my first one ever. Um, I've never done one of these before and I just, I don't know why I've never done it before, but I do videos all the time, but I've just never done an Amazon Live. But I'm so grateful that you guys were here with me to watch my very first one. And I'm trying to change something. It is having a fit with me. Thank you for watching.
she's this baby's cutting up over here with me yes and there's a chat on the other side where if you guys want to know if any have any questions or any comments um i think it'll be up on the replay i'm almost positive it will um but the chair i forgot to tell you about the chair the chair i bought on amazon like years ago and everyone's always asking me about the chair. It is now 44% off. So it's $278. I paid almost $500 for it. So it is actually $495, but you can get it for $278. Um, and the desk is not uh, a part of Amazon, but the flowers are. I forgot to put that link on there, but no worries. Thank you all for watching. I'm so excited you are here. Thank you for my very first one. You guys were great. Thank you for being good good with me good 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 watchers and participants of my first amazon live i'll be doing more of these where i'll be showing you exactly selling products that i've done the next one i'm going to do is i'm going to do this one which is going to be my um um pencil full stamping pencil machine i'm going to show you how i do that i'm going to show you how i'm able to full stamp pencils that's going to be a fun one because 